Hello and welcome. In this video I will explain you how to uh, see and change the IP address and IP related settings of the HS6000 panel. So here we have the large panel but the same method is true for the compact panel. Okay, now the power is off. There is nothing that needs to be connected to the panel to do this operation. You just need power ready. So we're gonna set the mode into the uh, IP changing mode. What you need to find is this area. So this is the key 1 button, key 4 button and the key transition 1 button. Push the three together and then power on the unit. Now we need to wait for about 14 seconds so I need to talk you through that and then the IP address of the panel will appear in this area on the OLEDs. Voila! There it is. So the current IP address of this panel is this one. If I want to change the IP address, just push the related up and down buttons until you have input your new address. Whatever you want. Okay. If you noticed well, you saw here there is IP. Now, if I want this change to be stored in the memory, you also need to push the cut button. If you don't do, this change will not be stored. Anyway, I do not push the cut button now because I don't want to change my IP address, but normally I would. Then we also need to set the masking. So I push on the auto button, now I see masking, I see the current masking. So if I want it to change, and at the end, please push the cut button. Once it becomes green, it means has been stored in the memory. Same for the gateway, so the gateway here is 000, and then at the end you push cut. Now, main panel IP, that's the most important I think, because this is the IP address of the main unit and that you need to know so it's 192.168.05 at origin uh, there is a method also to check and change the IP address of the main unit but that's for another video anyway basically at the end so I see because I didn't do the store button still the old IP address is there but anyway you change the IP address, gateway, main unit IP address. Every time you change a line and before going to the next one, you push store. And that's it. Afterwards, you switch off the unit. And the next time you boot it up with the main unit and everything together, it will have the new IP address, etc. working. The same is true for the compact panel. Of course, the compact panel is just a little bit shorter, but still this, the same uh, key area is there and the IP setting area is here. Okay, thank you for watching, bye bye.